Hey guys, thank you so much for being here. Today we're going to be talking about the astrology of February 12th through February 18th, 2024. And it's going to be a very passionate, explosive, dynamic, and transformative week, okay? Because this Aquarian energy just keeps piling up. It's exciting, it's fresh, it's new, it's different, it's a little intense, but we're going to get into all of it and dissect all of the transits so that you know how to work with this energy and use it towards your advantage. And really quick, if you're watching me on YouTube, thank you so much for being here. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're listening on the Astro Bella app, thank you for downloading and I really hope you're enjoying it so far. All right, you guys, let's dive right in. Let's start with the first major transit of the week on February 13th. We have Mars ingressing into the sign of Aquarius. Mars was just in Capricorn, where Mars does really well. Mars is exalted in Capricorn. And it does very well in Aquarius too, but in a different way. Okay, the energy is more geared towards the collective and our passions are geared towards doing something for the greater good. We'll be more focused on social causes because as you know, Aquarius is all about the masses, the people, the collective, and Mars is our energy, our drive, our passions, our motivations, okay? So those will all start to become more geared towards doing something bigger, not just for ourselves, but for, for the good of all. And we could really start coming together with people right now that see the world the same way that we do, that hold that same vision. And I've talked about this as Pluto went into Aquarius, Mercury went into Aquarius last week, and now Mars. So this energy keeps building up. It's becoming more and more potent. So this need to connect with others, to be social, to focus on the future is increasing. And now it's like, now the element of passion is being brought into it, all right? With Mars coming in there, this desire, this passion, this drive to make a difference in the world, to investigate what's really going on right now in the world and, and, and to find solutions to make it better <laughs> and to connect with people that want to do the same, okay? And the reason why this energy is going to be so investigative and deep, it's going to be passionate, but it's also going to be intense because of Pluto. Pluto is right there at zero degrees of Aquarius. It's been sitting right there at the entrance of the sign. So all the planets that are entering the sign of Aquarius right now are meeting up with Pluto. Pluto to make a conjunction at zero degrees, just like Mercury did last week, which caused us to be thinking very deeply. We may have made some important realizations last week, okay? and But now it's our passion and our drive that's being affected by it, okay? So it's like, it, it's being given another level of intensity by Pluto at that zero degree, okay? And this is happening, this Mars- Pluto conjunction is happening on February 14th, which is Valentine's Day. Okay, so it's not going to be your average Valentine's Day. This is going to be a very intense and passionate day. And I don't know what you're expecting if you're planning on having this lovey-dovey, beautiful, romantic day. I mean, that's very possible. But you can also expect to feel passionate, wanting to express yourself in a very maybe physical way with your partner, wanting to explore the darker sides of passion. You really have the ability to heal very deeply through your physical pursuits right now, okay? So make sure you know who your Valentine is, all right? Because if you're just going out with a stranger on Valentine's Day, I would just be careful because this energy can also translate to very almost dangerous because it's so intense and so passionate that if you are expressing it in the wrong way, it can translate into violence or, or just aggression, intense aggression. 
So make sure you know who you're spending the day with. Otherwise, it's better to spend the day alone. Just, I don't know, going to the gym or something like that because you're gonna be feeling very, you're gonna have this intense desire to transform yourself, to transform the world, to connect with other people that wanna do the same thing. But the energy is gonna be so strong that if you don't channel it properly, it could lead to explosive energy, you know? Like if you're not in a good place with your partner, for example, this could lead to some power struggles between the two of you. The energy of intense jealousy or manipulation. And yes, it could be violent if you don't know how to communicate this energy properly and channel it. I mean, this could be beautiful energy, very transformative energy too, but it's, it's just, you just need to be aware of it. Allow this energy to inspire you to really look within yourself and to heal parts of yourself. And if you're with your partner that day, make sure it's somebody that knows you, <laughs> that can hold space for you. Cause this can be beautiful. This could be fun. This could be exciting, but it's just, it's a lot. And um, on a collective level, people are gonna be feeling the pain of the collective right now more than ever. People are gonna be feeling, looking very deeply at what's wrong with the world and really feeling how the world is suffering and really wanna do something to change that. We're gonna be coming together to make the world a better place. You know, this is what Aquarian energy is all about, but we just need to make sure that this passion and intensity doesn't translate into aggressive and scary behavior because it's like, there's anger. There could be a lot of anger that we feel right now because there's so much wrong with the world and we're gonna become hyper aware of all of those things. So on a personal, personal level, we can feel like we wanna lash out. And on a collective level in the world around us, I mean, people could be acting out of character or, or violent, or there could be just explosions. So we just need to be careful during this time, during Valentine's Day, you know, we need to be careful and aware of our own emotions, of the people around us, of people that we talk to during that time, make sure that we're not being manipulated or people are trying to overpower us. Cause this could be a very empowering time where we could really tap into our own self-confidence and our, our deeper strength, but it's all about using it for the right reasons, for the right intentions, really need to go within and say, okay, I have this power within me. I, I can access this great power at this time, this great confidence, but what am I gonna use it for? Am I gonna use it to find solutions to make this world a better place? Or am I gonna use it to control, to dominate and manipulate other people? Cause this can go two ways. So we just have to be aware of that. On the 16th of February, Venus will also go into Aquarius, okay? Now Venus and Aquarius, the vibe is very chill, very friendly, very open-minded. Um, this is a very social time. Again, you're gonna, the level that you wanna be social is going to increase even more with another planet entering Aquarius, okay? With Venus and Aquarius, like Venus is love. It's our relationships, it's beauty, it's art, it's finances. It And in the sign of Aquarius, we're gonna want to experience the beauty of the world and relate to others like on a bigger scale with in within groups of people, okay? We may even fall in love with one of our friends <laughs> or we may just take a more lighthearted approach to relationships or a more open-minded, unconventional approach to relationships. We're gonna be thinking outside of the box when it comes to our relationships and how we relate to others. We're gonna be trying things, doing things differently with, with Venus and Aquarius. It's like, this is every time a planet goes into Aquarius, it's like, we're going to like, okay, we're going to find a, a solution. We're going to find a new way of doing things because I think now's the time when people are realizing that what we've been doing for so long may have not been working in relation to how we take care of one another, how we relate to one another how we are in relationships. This is a really solution oriented time. With every planet that's entering Aquarius, we have access to better solutions to, to make our world a better place. We have access to different pathways. We have access to truth. 
We have access to solutions. So use that, use that energy to find ways to navigate this crazy world that works the best for you and for your community, for your family, for the people that you are surrounded by. Just be aware that on the same day, February 16th, Mercury is going to be square Uranus. Now, Mercury just made that conjunction with Pluto, okay? So we've been thinking very deep. We may have had a lot of realizations. We may have had some deep conversations that really opened up our mind. And with this square to Uranus, square is our tensor energy. I'm not going to lie or sugarcoat it. It's going to be tense. Uh, Uranus is the planet of chaos, of unpredictability, of eccentricity, of things that are out there, okay? It is the co-ruler of Aquarius. So it is very connected to Aquarian energy. But with a square, there's going to be some tensions. There's This can result in some nervousness, anxiety. Um, it's miscommunications also. This, this energy is very similar to a Mercury retrograde, okay? And it makes sense that it's happening now because there's going to be so many changes and we're going to be having a lot of aha moments like, okay, this is what we need to do. We're motivated to do this, to relate in a new way, to connect in a new way. We're coming up with all these plans. We're excited about these plans. We're seeing the world in a different light, but it's scary. Like I talked about last week, all this change is scary. The fear of the unknown, <clears throat> it's, it's scary. This is new territory. We're doing things differently and it's normal to have moments of doubt when you're moving in a new direction. It's normal and it's okay. And just sit with that feeling and investigate where it comes from because you're gonna be feeling very deep and your feelings will be very intense. It's okay to be afraid because <clears throat> no one's ever been here before. No one's ever done what we're doing. This is new energy. This is the age of Aquarius at full blast. Like we're just, it's like, a new frontier right now. We are the pioneers of this new energy. So we're gonna, it's normal to have moments of doubt and it's okay. Uh, we don't have to feed into them, okay? We can accept them, be aware of them and just sit with them and then just breathe through them and relax through them and just take extra care of ourselves so that we can allow our minds some time to rest so that we can integrate this new energy because we don't need to overanalyze all these changes, we need to trust the changes. We need to trust that we are moving in the right direction because if our hearts and our minds and our intentions are in the right place, okay, and we, we really do want to make this world a better place, we wanna help others, we wanna come together, we wanna heal, we wanna grow. If this is where our intentions lie, then things are gonna unfold the way that they need to, okay? It's all about knowing what your intentions are. And if you real if your intentions are for the greater good of all right now, it's okay. You don't have to have it all figured out. We're we're trying to find solutions. We're trying we're moving in different directions, and there is going to be an anxiety that that goes along with it. And when you feel this anxiety, don't think that you're doomed. Like oh, it's all over. I'm doing everything wrong. Just sit. Just breathe. Just go outside. Take a walk in nature. Meditate. Do what you need to do. Take a bubble bath. Take care of your nervous system. Take care of your body take care of your soul, go to the ocean. You know what I mean? Like connect with nature. It's gonna be okay. And the next day on February 17th, Pluto is gonna make that exact conjunction with Venus in Aquarius at zero degrees. Okay, so Venus is entering Aquarius. It's feeling super chill, open-minded about things. But right upon its entry, it's gonna meet up with Pluto, the planet of darkness, intensity, and transformation. So although we're going to be feeling open-minded and lackadaisical about our relationships, we're also going to be feeling intense emotions. Um, we're going to be relating to people in a very deep way that can be almost scary. Relating to people like that, feeling that much. Feeling that much can, can make us want to run away. It may make us not want to feel anything at all, but but you know what? We're human beings and we're meant to feel, we're meant to have a wide range of emotions and feelings. That is part of this human experience, this experience on this earth plane. So don't be afraid of these intense emotions. And 
they can be geared towards a romantic love and they can manifest as feelings of jealousy or obsession or just intense hurt over something so small. But you know what? It means you're alive and it's okay to feel these things because you're learning how to navigate these intense feelings and emotions because what this new energy wants from us is to start to relate to relate to others on a deeper level so we can get to know the dark and the light of everyone and love them for both to love ourselves for both the light and the dark because every single person has their shadow side and their light side and with venus and pluto coming together we're definitely going to see both and we're going to see both in ourselves and it could be painful. It could be very painful, but that's what's going to allow us to grow and to connect with others on a way deeper level. And in order to really come together in a powerful way with others, we need to be able to see all sides of other people and accept and accept all sides of other people because there's, there's no perfect person. Okay. And together we are more powerful. And if we just cut people out of our lives every time they show us a little bit of their shadow, we will be alone. We need to, we need to be able to transmute these shadows together right now because together we're more powerful and we'll be feeling a lot, but we shouldn't run away from these feelings, okay? These feelings are where our power lies, investigating these feelings, truly feeling them and allowing us, allowing ourselves to go through it and to sit with it and to accept it, to embrace it, to embrace our shadow, to embrace these deeper, more intense emotions. That's that's where our power lies. That's where the transformation lies. Okay, we all have the opportunity to completely transform ourselves this week, okay? With all this plutonic energy in, in regards to how we relate with other people, how we come together with other people, how we love, how we express ourselves in a passionate and physical way. We can really transform through these these types of experiences right now so don't run away from them just make sure that you trust the people that you're around trust your heart and your intuition when it comes to other people's intentions because you know what your intentions are and the only way that you can know what other people's intentions are is by trusting yourself and trusting how those people make you feel um and you know and and you align with the right people when you are your most authentic self so continue to be your most most authentic self and you will attract the right people that you can create something amazing with on this planet okay and even if these people are amazing don't be afraid of their shadow don't be afraid of your shadow because we all have a shadow side that wants to be transmuted by investigating our shadow we can we can find out what's on the other side okay we can find even greater strength on the other side by facing our shadow but when we run away from our shadow it haunts us it chases us it gets bigger okay and then we suffer more so just face your shadows this week. It's going to be okay. Do not be afraid of them. It's part of the process and you, you got this. So it's going to be a very intense and transformative, passionate, possibly life changing week. Okay. We're going to be feeling so much. And then on the 18th, it's the first day of Pisces season, <laughs> more emotions, more feelings, more psychic energy, which actually could be very beneficial right now because we'll be going through so much. And then with the entrance into Pisces season, it's like, we're going to allow all these feelings that, that we've been feeling to, to resonate on a deeper level in a way where we can express ourselves with all of this in a very artistic way, in a very compassionate way. We're going to be feeling like we understand people on a deeper level. Like we can, create on a more beautiful level like our, we're just going to be very inspired very connected compassionate uh we're very going to be very in tune with this pisces energy but you know there's there's going to be so much aquarian energy that even with the sun moving into pisces we're still going to be feeling the aquarian vibes so we're going to be living in that for a while this is the time to really embrace this new and exciting energy of this Aquarian stellium that's happening. We're gonna have five planets in Aquarius this week. Like this is it. We're gonna really feel what this is all about. It's exciting, it's different, it's new. It has the, the ability to completely transform us. So embrace it, embrace the changes, embrace the new people who come into your life embrace your passion and your desires 
and and your goals for the future okay and and focus on the future focus on the brightest possible future right now okay and do not be afraid of the darkness either and i i hope that you guys navigate this week smoothly with ease and you come out on the other side so much stronger like the phoenix rising from the ashes all right you guys thank you so much for being here Thank you for listening and I wish you the very best week.